understand. That's why I ask. Is this the same as Allah? What language did Jesus speak? I don't know. Did he speak Arabic. Hebrew? Probably. Or Arabic. He spoke Arabic. He didn't speak Hebrew. Okay, I wasn't there. No, no, no. It's an important question. Okay, why, why, is it important? why is it important? Why is it important? No, it's not. It's, it's not a dialect, it's a completely different language. Why is it important? What language did Jesus speak? Like I said, Hebrew and Aramaic. He Arabic. didn't say, no, what, la what language did he speak to his disciples? What language did he speak? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, Aramaic, fine. But he didn't speak Hebrew, did he? I'm not sure if he did or not. Okay, he wasn't speaking in Hebrew, was he? To his disciples? I'm not sure. And to uh, the, his congregationists and so on? I'm not sure. If he, he wasn't? No one says that. No scholar of Christianity ever said that, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, also, yeah. And also, if you check no, no, in Middle East, no, no, no. all Christian fine, people, fine. So, every single Bible, one second, every single Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to your question. Yes, I I'm, I'm, I'm coming to your question. Okay. All right. So, when, when Jesus spoke in Aramaic, which we both agree he did, right? It's, it's in the Bible, I mean, it's in the New Testament, right? Um, how did he refer to God? Did he call him Yahweh? Pardon? Okay, that's one of the ways. But what I mean is that Yahweh is a, is a Hebrew word. All right. So if, if 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 the prerequisite is that Muslims must use the word Yahweh because that's the because that, because that's the no, no I get it I get it we have to if we have to call God Yahweh. No 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 that's not my question. So what's the question? Okay, in all the God of Jews. Pardon? Is it the same? As Allah. Allah claimed that he's the one that sent Moses, Jesus Christ, and Allah. That's what Muslims believe. Yes. Christians don't believe that. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. So Christians believe Allah is foreign God. Sorry? Christians, we believe that Allah is foreign God. Foreign God, yes. Sorry, sorry. No, how comes every single wait, Bible like, 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 in Arabic, wait one second. You know the Bible in Arabic, in Middle East, in the whole Middle East. If you open it, you will see the word Allah is mentioned in every yeah, single word. That's a good point. That's a good point. But let him finish his... No, 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 yes, it's true. It's true. Let, let him finish. So what I'm saying what, is, what, what do you need to say? Christians believe that yeah, yeah. Allah is foreign God. And the okay. reason is because they don't believe Allah is the one that creates heaven and earth. He's not the one that okay. sent Moses. So who created heavens and earth? Hold on, hold on. So yeah. what I'm trying to say is this, yeah? Yeah. according to Islam, yeah. it's Allah the yeah. same as Yahweh. Just, I'm not talking about the name, oh, I'm not okay. talking about the language, I'm just saying is it the same God that sent Moses that sent Muhammad? Do you believe that? That's are you, are you not talking, you're not talking about the name? I'm not talking about the name, okay. I'm talking about who the God is, that okay. God. Is so, the same. That's what right. we believe as Muslims, the Muslim belief is that the creator of the heavens and the earth is the all-knowing one, the all-powerful one, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who begets not and is not begotten, the one who's not part of a trinity, he's not part of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is the idea of God in Islam, the independent one, the self-sufficient one, the all-loving one, the all-merciful one. So if you believe in this one, you can say you believe in God, you can call him Allah, you can call him Eli, you can call him whatever words you want to use. It's like you said, it's, it's not really about the words. If you don't believe in this one, uh, I would say that you're an atheist, actually. So if you don't want to believe in that God that I've just described, then you are espousing an atheistic belief. That's it. Uh, do I believe in the Trinity, for example? No. Do I believe in the uh, theological concepts of uh, Christianity and uh, incarnation and theology? Absolutely not. Jews do you don't believe in Trinity either. Pardon? Jews, they don't believe in exactly. Trinity. Exactly. I mean, so, exactly. so what I'm trying to say, it has nothing to do with Trinity. What I'm trying to okay. say is this. The God, the, at least, this God that we're talking about, we got to know this God by through Jews. Sure. Right. So that God that did all the miracles. Sure. Yeah. Is it the yeah, same yeah. God that continues? So the one, the one who spoke through man, Moses. Is it, is it the same yes. God that continues with? Yeah, yeah of course. Saying. We're saying like the the one that Moses spoke, yeah, yeah. communicated to. Yeah. We we claim that's the same God that exactly. claimed, spoke to Muhammad. Yeah, that's yes. What I'm to say. That's of course. Okay. Yes. So, but the thing is, there's a problem with that. Of course. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I've seen your video. Okay. Okay. I know that you have a lot of knowledge. Thank you. you. Someone like you, Shabi Ali. Uh, What's your Muslim name? Guy. Larry. Larry, good to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. Also. And your psychiatrist, people like that. Yeah? But the thing is this, yeah? And there's a lot of Christians as well, like <laughs> David Wood. Oh, yes. <laughs> like David Wood. Yeah. Like Bob, yeah. A lot of Christians as well, yeah? Yeah. With all the knowledge that you yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. You, you've never seen anything in the Bible that, we, that one makes you say, I'm crossing to over. Christianity? Yeah, you've never seen anything, even though you've read a lot. The same thing with most Christians as well. They've never seen anything in the Quran. I want them to say, I'm going over there as well. Yeah? So when I look at it that way, 
There's lots of people that become Muslim. Sorry? There are lots of Christians that become yeah, yeah, Muslim. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. What I'm trying to say that is, there's a lot of people that don't know much. What do sure, you know? Sure, sure. If I have to say, I'll say probably 5 to 10 percent of Muslims in the world knows half of what you know. Will you believe that? Oh, thank you. I appreciate will this. You, do you believe that? I think, that I think it's much less than that, actually. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean, you I believe that. I mean, you I believe that. I, mean, you know, no, that. I just said 5 to 10, no. but me too, I believe that. Oh, thank you. But what I'm trying to say is this. With all the knowledge that you, you, you have, yeah. you don't see anything in Christianity that makes you want to be a Christian. Look, Christianity has some beautiful aspects of it. I know, I know. And what I'm trying to say, for you to yeah. want to be a Christian, that, oh, Islam is false. No. Did you get one? I, I don't, because it's, the sticking point for me is the concept of God. Yeah, yeah, no, no, hold on. What I'm trying to say, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. to you, everything you see doesn't want to make you be a Christian. Yeah. So, if you have to look at it, all your knowledge, I'm sure it takes you years before you can get these things. Yeah. And I don't believe this is what God wants for us. To yeah. spend years before we can get to know God. I don't believe that. I believe there's a simple way for us to get to know who God is. Yeah, we that's, why, that. that's why I said, that's yeah. why I ask you, yeah. you think they are the same. Because to us Christians, we don't believe they are the same. Yeah? I know, I know. Uh -huh. But this is not the thing. If you believe that this is the same. What part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from Oyo State. Which one? Yoruba. Yoruba. Oh, Yoruba. Uh, Keja. No, Keja is in Lagos. Oh, like sorry, a, sorry. Like yeah, yeah. Hour, like an hour to you. Yeah. I went to Akeja, brother. I know that you went to, I saw your video. I liked it. Very nice. I went to Banana Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So what I'm trying to say is this: If you look at Bible, yeah. there's some things that we believe. Yeah. You believe in, in Islam, adultery is, is wrong. Yeah. We believe it's wrong as well. Yeah. But the thing is this: when it comes to your practice, there was a certain. I don't know. Some people believe muta is still allowed. Some people don't believe it. Minor. Minor issues. Okay, it's not minor. And I'll tell you why it's not minor. Okay, fine. Maybe it's not okay. minor. But the thing yeah, is, yeah. we talked to him about this. He didn't talk to me about anything. All the time. No, no, I told no. him if, you, if he's biblical God, he did muta. Why he has to blame about it? Listen, if, if you really, if you want, if you want to become Muslim and do muta, I used to be a Muslim. Yeah. Be a Muslim. Hey, listen, if you want to, do, then I'll allow it. You know, wait, 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 let me finish. You know, in Mark 14, 8. Come on, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but, but, but let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What, what is it about Christianity that you think is true? What's, what you makes you attract everything, 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 eh? No, I'm not going to say everything, everything yeah. about Christianity to me. This is nonsense. Huh? Everything about Christianity is perfect. But let's stick to you, what I'm saying. The reason why I'm saying it is. It's but no, we've just, because we're, we're jumping from, from no, no, Yahweh to Muta. No, no, I'm saying if God, if they are the he same, man, then at least if God is say, if they the same, they should have the same principle. Huh? No, I'm, like, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that yeah. we're moving from pillar to post here. No, no, the reason why I said Yahweh, the reason why I moved to Muta is because I believe if Allah and Yahweh are the same. Okay. Then the principle should be the same. No, but then the thing is, you, could you say, is it conceivable that the laws from one prophet to another will change? Yes, I believe that. Yeah, sure. So we believe that laws can also change yeah. from one prophet to another. So if for, for us, the only thing that needs to remain constant is the theology. And the theology for us is the one God theology, as you know, right? Tawhid. Yeah, yeah. So we don't believe in man God. We don't believe in the Holy Spirit as God or the or a person of God or anything like that. So the thing is, I want you to be honest with yourself. Yeah. You've got two models in front of you, right? One of them says that you've got a God, that's one God, yeah. all knowing, all powerful, you know, most merciful. And then you have another model which says, no, actually, that's all true, fine, God is all knowing, all powerful. But God is manifested as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in three persons. And the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God, but there are not three gods, but there are one God. Okay, now you have this, A and B. On face value, which of these two theological models makes more sense to you? On face value, yes. on face value if I don't know much, yes. I'll say the Islam. Sure. Yeah. But if I now know, if I read Bible and I understand Bible more. But without, okay, without Bible, Quran or anything else, yeah. what appeals to your sense of rationality and intuition more, the first model or the second model? The Honestly, the, the first, first, okay. Yeah. So, here's the thing, what I'm saying to you is, if the first model does, you know, it does actually appeal to your, your logic more, your rationality more, and intuition more, what would it take now to make you sacrifice those things, intuition, logic, rationality, in order to now opt for another model? When I know the truth, the truth, thank yeah, you. The truth is well yeah, no, but that's the thing. I'm saying to you, 
You're saying the truth is known through the Bible, right? Sorry? You said that I found out about the truth God through the Bible and so on. I'm saying no, before... Actually not true Bible. Okay. But would you... Okay. If you removed all the books in the world, okay? Yeah. All the books. Let's be honest and yeah. let's be sincere today and do this experiment, okay? You remove there's no book, there's no Quran, there's no Bible, no Old Testament, no New Testament, nothing, okay? And we said, how did this, how did this come about? All right? Now, I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm actually 100% sure we'll come with a few ideas. One of them is that one God created everything. One God created the necessary existence. This no, is, that's you know, not what the pagans said. I want him to finish. But some, 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 finish. some people will say but multiple. Yeah, history. History. Exactly. No, no. I'm, 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 the Sumerians I'm, didn't. No, no, you're come right. To the you're, you're right, man. Some of them will say polytheistic, polytheism. And some of them will say atheism, maybe. And this is what we found. So, like, for example, Aristotle who came before Jesus Christ, he died 323 BCE. He has a book called The Metaphysics. And in that book, in the sixth chapter, he talks about the, the unmoved mover, effectively, making the same arguments that Thomas Aquinas made, or he actually co-opted from him. Jab, do you know why? Sorry, sorry. So, no, sorry why? Sure. sure. You know when I started this thing, I said, not a lot of people have this kind of knowledge that you have. Let's make this video simple. I'm, I'm trying to make reason why I'm Okay, fine, I'll try and simplify it, okay? So I'm saying that if you remove all of the good books in the world, the Bible, that kind of thing, this idea that you're going to come to the conclusion that actually the creator of the universe is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that all three of them are one and one and three, it never happened. And there's a reason why it never happened, because it's not a rational conclusion. It did happen. And, no, I'm saying that before, the, before Christianity, the invention of Christianity, the, end, the advent of Christianity, no one said this in the, in the ways that we're Christ, saying, that, that we're saying, saying it now. When so, Abraham, when Abraham saw three so there's, men, there's too many of you when Abraham saw three men, yeah, yeah. he saw theophany. Sure. He saw three men. Yeah. One of those men stayed with him. The yeah. other two but, uh, destroyed so what's Psalm your, what's, your, what, what's your name, my friend? Greg. We did, debated Psalm 110. Be beautiful. I, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Good to meet you, my friend. You too. Um, I was going to say... debated Psalm 110 and you ran away. That's why I'm here today. Oh, to speak to you. Hopefully I won't run this time. Hopefully you won't run. <laughs> no, but Greg's a good guy. Sure, sure, sure. But remember the... Oh, Sanika, how are you doing, Akhi? You okay? Good to see you, man. You too, man. You too. Uh, uh, my, the, the thought experiment that I was doing was this. As I was saying, let's remove all the books. Remember, that's what we said. We, we said remove the Quran, remove the Bible, remove the Bhagavad Gita, the Guru Granth Sahib. All of them you remove. And now we're coming to a conclusion of how we came here, okay? How did the universe come into existence? Now I'm saying, you've just mentioned the Old Testament. I, I don't need, that's not part of the thought experiment. I'm saying that, because he said that he's looking for truth. Okay, the, the truth of God, I'm claiming, can be found outside of the scriptures. You don't need, maybe not the full truth, I agree with that, but the basic truth of who God is and what God is can be found outside of the scriptures. Only via revelation, because you can't find it through subjective reasoning. You cannot find the truth about God unless you meet with God. That's exactly unless I want us to get there. There's a reason why. No, but I would you accept? Would you accept? Right. If you are speaking to an atheist right now, right? Yeah. If you would you accept that you can reason on a rational level, okay, the basic realities of how we got here? No. Oh, so you, you can't reason. With, okay. You can't reason on an yeah. irrational level okay. with an atheist unless you borrow from God. You and I no, can't no, sure, have a sure, conversation sure. without borrowing no, from what, God. No, what what I mean is you need to do you need to have the Bible in order to make a case for God? I do, yes. Okay, well is it not you? Is it a requirement or not a requirement? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, 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 you're right. You're okay, right. Fine, I'll give you that. Fine. You can make a case for theism sure, without sure, the Bible, sure, without sure, the sure. Quran. Yeah. That's that's why I'm saying that the truth that we're trying to look for, okay? Because we're also we're all biased to our own scriptures. He's biased to the Bible, I'm biased to the Quran, the Sikh will be biased to the Guru Grand Sahib and so on. So I think the first order of business would be then, it's only fair. So okay, we remove all of the scriptural uh, scriptures. Remove them. We get that. Now, sure. Now what yeah. I'm saying is that is it reasonable to conclude if we remove all the scriptures that the basic idea of God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yes, if you have if you no, have no, a revelation. Sure, sure. No, no, I, I've just said. 
we remove all the revelation. No, the revelation out. doesn't have to be a book. The, the revelation can okay. be God. Okay, no, I understand. Otherwise, yeah. when we say, let's don't yeah. talk about Bible, don't talk about Quran. No, I'm yeah. not. That's why I say, yes. I'm but not talking about that. If we remove Bible, if we remove Quran, anybody can come up with anything and they'll believe in it. Uh, uh, of course, of yeah. course. I can believe that there's ten, like, ten gods that create everything. All right, but let's, I let's, I agree with what you're saying. You're totally right, and I've mentioned that. Yeah. But here's the thing. There's different ways to come to truth. Because you, you mentioned a key word. It's mentioned in your Bible. Seek the truth and the truth shall set you, set you free. I'm saying, okay, let's try and seek the truth together. But we can't be insincere to the truth. Because the truth can sometimes be something we don't like. I'll be honest. I mean, sometimes the truth can come from a place that you think to myself, I, I don't want to accept this truth. So I'm trying to say, let's reduce the bias and say, okay, let's, let's do this exercise now in a very fair manner. There's two, there's two real ways we can, we can think of this. You can know about something through intuition. You, intuition is instinct, okay? Yeah. And you can know it through rationality, mm -hmm. okay? And you can know it through the five senses, okay? So if, if we saw God, and God revealed himself like that, that would be a way of doing it through the senses. Intuition is like we're born believing in God. Yeah. And there is some studies that, as you know, show that we're born, people are born believing in a higher power. And then you can say, well, we can rationalize God's existence. What I'm saying is in all three cases, where does the Trinity factor into this? Let me specify my question. So, for example, is it the case that someone is born believing Jesus is God? I would say that the extent to which someone is born believing in Jesus as God is as uh, insignificant or is uh, unexpected as someone believe, believe Muhammad as a prophet. Yeah. Both of those things don't come into someone's mind uh, without social, socialization, without input from yeah, society. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, the Trinity is the mystery here. This is, the, this is what I'm saying. It's, it's not a truth you can derive outside of what you perceive to be the scriptures. Now, someone can say, actually, it's not even in the scriptures. That's another argument. But I'm saying that you cannot, you cannot derive at the it's clearly, uh, thing of the it's Trinity. clearly in the scriptures. I know, that's you a different argument. You said you're not going to mention it, yeah, yeah. now okay. you're mentioning it. Sure, sure. But um, I, I'll give you But time. stick with the stick with yeah, your thoughts, yeah, yeah, Because he yeah, hasn't spoken. Yeah. I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. I didn't come to Christianity by knowing, uh, by, because I believe in Trinity. Okay. That's not the way I came into Christianity. Oh, sure. I don't even know much about the Bible before oh, okay. I became a Christian. So I believe that okay. God can reveal himself to you. Sure, okay. It, you don't need Bible before you can know God. God can actually reveal Himself to you, and you know who God is. Okay. Then later on, you can learn about Bible, you know about Bible, but God cannot okay. do that without Bible. I understand what you're you saying. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is this. But is that is that? Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me play devil's advocate a little bit with that because you just said God can reveal Himself to you, right? Yes. All right. But you can understand the subjective nature of that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So if someone, person A, says, "Well, God revealed Himself to me," yeah. and God was Buddha. And person B comes and says, well, actually, God revealed himself to me, and God was Allah. And person C said, you know, actually, God revealed himself to me, and he, he was actually the Trinity God, the Triune God. So this is an unreliable way of seeking the truth. So yeah. this idea of, okay, we're going to come to the idea of God is one, and he revealed himself to me through this idea of God revealed himself to me. It's not a demonstrative it's way, yeah. manner. It's not even a way. It's not even but a demonstrative manner. So, Sorry, I get what so, you're saying. But do you understand is, what I'm saying? Yeah. There's, a, there's a scripture in the Bible. So we go back to the thought experiment. The thought experiment yeah. is this. You remove the Quran, you remove the Bible, you remove all the books in the world. No, because we went back to... No, no, wait, wait on this, okay. right? You remove the Bible, you remove the Quran, you remove the Bhagavad Gita, you remove the Guru Granth Sahib, you remove all of them. Okay, okay, yeah. And we ask ourselves, how did we get here? And let's ra rationalize this. Now, I, my claim is that it's not the case through intuition or rationalization that someone could ever come to the conclusion that Jesus is God or the triune God or all That's that stuff. That's a subjective claim. Exactly. No, but okay. it's, it's, it's yeah, a subjective claim okay. and it's not objective. Sure, sure, go ahead. And it's purely sure, go ahead, go ahead. an yeah. experiential claim. What you're, I know where you're going and it's an, interesting, it's an interesting thought experiment, but you're not giving us intellectual space to make our case. No, please go ahead. So be intellectually yeah. hospitable now. I have to be, yes. You've, you've, given, your, yes. you've given your thought experiment. Yeah. Here's the thought experiment. Yeah. If Jacob, Abraham, and Moses all identified God as the angel of the Lord in the burning bush, the theophany, the three men coming to see Abraham, that they were in God, they thought they were going to die because they'd seen God. Samson's father thought he was going to die and his mother because they'd seen God. God walked in the garden at Eden and revealed himself to Adam and Eve. 
Now, we believe that's the pre-incarnate revelation of Christ. You say that's not the pre-incarnate revelation of Christ. And you say, although the Quran doesn't say it, but you say, for, forget about the books, you say that's a claim. That's a subjective claim. I'm saying, if you forget about all the books in the world, and we're doing this thought experiment, then you'd have history passed on by the oral tradition. So our fathers and our fathers' fathers and fathers' fathers would have all passed down and said, God revealed himself to me, this is what happened. The whole sea opened up and the Egyptians were killed when they were trying to cross the sea. Now, can you verify that? Yeah, we've got all these witnesses. You've got two million witnesses here on this side of the sea, and we've got all the Egyptians on that side of the sea. So that's history. All right, can, can, just I, I want you to be um, fair to the thought experiment because remember we said the thought experiment is that we're going to remove all the books and we're going to try and reason our respective theologies yeah. without. Re but you've just mentioned once again. Theophanies and Old Testament. Yeah, yeah. Can so, I can I answer? answer you? Can I answer? No, so, so. If you listen to what I said, I said sure. the oral tradition no, sure. would be passed but it, it, on verbally. That's, sorry. I didn't say anything about a book. So I, I understand, but now you're being pedantic because I don't mean book necessarily. I'm talking about any scriptural references, any yeah. scriptural reference, where it's oral no, tradition. That's not scriptural. That's so. history. He's just talking about. I'm, I'm saying, saying, saying to get any, okay. before teachings. Christ. He's right. He's right. I'm saying did the Great Wall of China my, get built before Christ? Do, do you mind if I just say this again? Okay, yeah? just that quick question. Sure. Did the Great Wall of China get built before Christ? I don't know. I can't. It's general yeah. trivia, was it? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I if, don't know. If there's no book to verify yeah. this, yeah. so how would you know the Great Wall of China was built before Christ? Okay, now we're going into another question. Yeah. So you're kind of you're swerving history. away from what we're talking about. But that's history. Sure, sure. It would have been passed what was your name, Greg? Greg. Yeah. Okay. What we are doing now, just to say this again, okay? Is we're, we're removing any religion from the discussion. It. Any I've religion, all right? That's why any. I, that's why okay. I use the I'm saying you've got you, you've you've got two things to your disposal. Only yeah. two things. Put it this way: you've got intuition, and you have rationality. You have nothing else. Oh, so no history. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So, but how can you have? To be honest, no, no. How can you have I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give. I'll give you one more. Uh, my friend, please. I'll give you a third thing. You've got rationality. You got your five senses, yeah. and you have intuition. Yeah. With these three things, not with reference to any story, by giving to any history is a story. Okay, so you suddenly hear. Uh, no, okay, okay. Did you understand the thought experiment? Okay. The, thought, the thought experiment is we're removing all narratives, all stories. We don't want any stories. Now, what we're talking about, you have three things to your disposal. You have intuition, you have rationality, and you have the five senses. Please reason the Trinity God. I'm saying that. Look. Yeah. From bottom up, okay. if you ask me as a Muslim, do you, you understand? Yeah. I'm, I'm saying, look, as a Muslim, there's evidence of intuition. The first one, all three of them we can do. But are you using religion just, or not? I, no, no, just no, said, no, 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 not as a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not using, here, I'm not using religion. You said you've got three things. I'm not using religion. But I'm not using scripture. Let me answer your question. So, they don't understand okay. it. They don't understand. He doesn't what understand what I'm saying. But let me just, let me, let me, answer let me just, let me just quickly you're say this. You're going back and forth with them for a long time. They're not getting it. Let me answer so, your question. So go ahead, please. Yes. All right, cool. My name's S1. Nice to meet you. You too, my friend. Nice to meet you. Cool. You're asking, you said that the Trinity okay. is unreasonable. You, you, I'm sorry, you're going to debate him. All I want to ask you, five seconds. Please, will you join our channel on Wednesday night to I don't debate think I have time Mecca in the 7th century? I don't think I haven't got time for that. Man, okay. But, is it yeah. possible to have a debate with you about Mecca in the 7th century? Potentially, I'm here to talk about anything you guys want, but let's just do one thing at a time. Okay. Let's right. do one he's, thing he's, at a time. He's hijacked his conversation. Okay, okay, well, let's just do one thing at a time. I'll come back to, I'll come back to you. But let the brother, let the brother in also go. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's, yeah. He's My name is S.Y. Critical Thomas. Okay. I'm a Thomist. I'm a, uh, I study uh, Thomas Aquinas. Oh, fantastic. Now, you said that the Trinity would be irrational. I didn't to, say that. To I, I didn't say it would be irrational. From, rash, from natural reason. No, I, I, I didn't say but it would be irrational. No, I, all I said was this. At this point, we're doing just one thought experiment. Yeah. Of course, I believe the Trinity is irrational. We can talk about that as a different thing. But okay. in, for the purpose okay, so of. No, but for the purpose. 